welcome back guys to episode 5 of Hori Mia, where I am absolutely ecstatic at the fact that we got a confession from both sides within episode 4. That is absolutely amazing because you guys know the trend with romance animes where it normally takes 12 to 24 to even 100 episodes to get a confession but we're already at it so this episode I'm expecting quite the change between their relationship because we definitely know that Hori heard the confession. I don't know if Mia said it hoping she would hear it, or it was more just like a thing of the moment but I guess we'll see so without further ado let us get into things. And if you guys want to watch more anime make sure to check out the link above for our synchronizer video in 3, 2, 1, go. I'm so excited. <laughs> I kind of get caught off guard by like the second logo animation that comes in. But anyways, it's just like anime, 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 anime. Oh, she's still feeling a little bit yucky. Does that mean Mia will come over? Oh. This was very unexpected, but perfect. I hope this doesn't make things like awkward. Oh, I love little Yota. Oh. It's okay. I'm joking. It's just another girl that he, like a schoolmate, he's probably talking to. But oh, how dare you, Mia, already cheat on us after a confession? Relax. I'm joking. It's, I feel like Yota, it, it's Yota, I think. Or it was, it was either Sota. No, I'm pretty sure it was Yota. Uh, but, anyways, I think Yota is going to not understand, obviously, the whole concept. I think. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't know because Horny Mia doesn't drag out any drama or like misunderstanding drama and as I said I really appreciate that aspect so I don't know if Yota's gonna go home and be like like sis sis I saw like you know Papa hanging out with another girl and then that might cause a misunderstanding with Hori but as I said I don't think Hori Mia does that whole like misunderstanding you know kind of um already done like kind of trope and cheesiness of other typical romance animes I don't know but maybe maybe they they might because we do have a little bit of awkwardness and tension obviously going in within Hori because that that was a big confession. I mean like Mia bro, that was such a like I mean thinking about it gets me all like blushing again because it was just I mean it was amazing and romantic at the same time. It was just like what? Like where did that come from, sweetie? But hopefully this episode I really want them to to do a confession at the same time, like facing each other, because Hori's done her confession, but that was to someone else, and then um, Toru just heard it and passed it on to Mia. I can't say it out loud. My bro? with another woman. Sweetie, sweetie wording. His gummy balls? Why would you say it then, sweetie? Some other uniform? <laughs> cheating, cheating, absolutely cheating. <laughs> hold on, hold on, back up, back up. Yeah. It's a sweetie. You're gonna you're gonna have to work on your wording of things. Yeah, like we met Shindo last episode. Sister, sister has to be a sister. I think. <laughs> 
<laughs> Don't give me an introduction. <laughs> Oh, holy sweetie, no. Holy no. Quite the opposite. The complete opposite, honestly. Because I feel like Mia's gonna misunderstand and think it's because of the confession. Which is gonna break my heart. <laughs> Be no, 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 no. Oh, you don't know. So where is that case? Oh, I knew you were awake, you know. Who is she? Who's the home wrecker? Do eh? Oh, sorry, it was Sota, not Yota. Chica! You need to add more to that. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Stop, stop saying your fucking name. But I don't know her last name. Oh, bless the series. That's why she had her arm wrapped around. I'm not even gonna... I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see the whole arm wrapping happening because I think I was in denial. Mmm. <laughs> -hmm. I mean, I think they're pretty used to your brute style, don't worry. You started the sweetie. Come here, sit down. <laughs> I love how he calls me a my bro. When it should be my dad, but yeah. No, 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 no. That's not how we see Mia. Come on, talk it out, guys. Oh, the awkwardness. Neither of you guys are mad at each other, honestly. Twice. <laughs> yeah. Nah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> mm -mm, mm -mm. We're that unclose that we don't even know each other's last day. Hoodie was not in the mood to listen whatsoever. Oh yeah, let's talk about this now. And... 
You do it so, like, cool. Oh, I love this twinkly music. Can I help you? Oh my god, you look exactly like Sota. Kosuke. Are you the papa or brother? Papa? What's that? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, no smoking inside though. Daddies! That was a beautiful axe kick. I thought he just had too much swagger to be the dad, so I thought big brother for a second. And she calls him, um... Boyfriend, sorry, not just random guy. Boyfriends. He's so cool. I, I feel like they'll get along. Maybe not. Maybe he's here to scare him away. Mm, no, 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 no. Yes, yes. I don't think anyone's been that close. <laughs> Why not on your head? Maybe her mom. Not at all. Just double time. <laughs> that was quick. I love this like groovy music. Yeah, that's that's why I thought brother, because she called him by his first name. <laughs> He's such a meme. Yes. Yes. <gasps> Look at the flash flash. Oh, that technique to keep it all within the bowl. And she just said yes, guys. Yeah, bro. No. Oh, maybe yes. Mm-hmm. 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 I love how the dad's just giving him a makeover. <laughs> kind of. Bro. Why does he from my oh. Oh. oh, are they not on good terms? Oh, how long has this been? Cause yeah, I forgot to say that I always thought Oh Never mind. <laughs> disposable chopsticks you could use. Your disposable. <laughs> I 
I was going to say he reminds me of Gojo Sensei. Just dad version. Just because we have like Jujutsu Kaisen going on as well. Mm -hmm. <gasps> she did. This is moving so quickly. They did the, they did the. At least I hope I can. Oh. It's official. <gasps> yes, yes. I thought he was going to do the dramatic, like, you know, and then kiss, but no, it's episode five. <gasps> oh, bless. I think I was going to say I'll never wash this hand again. Just me? Okay. <laughs> Did he tell him? Because you know, it, it is Toru. You made it happen. Good for you. Oh, Toru. I think it'll be fine. He's a cool bro. Damn you. Oh. But you know, I, I ship you guys, so. So, like, you, you know, you know, oh, I see a little, I see a little blushing there. <gasps> you notice. Sakura and Toro, I think that has a nice ring to it. Someone. I just don't think she's ready to talk about it, that's all. Maybe she doesn't want to talk. And you're pretty and cute as well. Oh, I see where the kind of barriers coming from. I wish you stayed as you. No, you wish you were you. Oh. Oh, fucking. Sakura's a beautiful name. Yeah, don't take it out on Remy. Wait, if her, if people think her standard is beast, what the fuck does that say about me? Like, what? what? <laughs> like, what? 
What's wrong with people's standards? The guy I like. Look kawaii. Come on. Oh, here we go. Good, good toro, good toro. Yeah, don't you go feeling awkward on me. Toro's so cool. <laughs> Adorable. <laughs> ING verbs. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, his last name is Izumi. Okay, now I follow. <laughs> I like Horia Mia. I don't know he would be so honest about it. Fuck. <gasps> it's me! And Kyoko? Kyoko. But that's your nickname. Baka Izumi. <laughs> so used to it. <laughs> you big, big Baka. Oh my god, this episode was filled with feels, and the fact that it's official. Wait, it's just like where it ends at? I'm genuinely like so surprised at just how quickly we're moving. Like, I thought. It was, I, I do believe the series was 12 episodes, so I genuinely thought, you know, 12 episodes was where it was going to go down, but no, the series was like, everything goes down already on episode 5, like, it's official, guys, they've already held hands, and they're on a first name basis, like, Jesus, get, it already met the dad as well, I can't forget that, or I met the mom as well, you, you've already got the younger brother already calling you, like, big bro, so, like, you, you're pretty much married, what, what more do you need to do, isn't that, yeah, you're pretty much married, so, like, Shit, what is I I okay, no no no. Like actually I'm I can't wait to see where the series will go. I do think they will dive into a couple of other kind of side characters. Like, you know, based off the poster itself, I thought it was gonna dive into kind of a lot of the other characters, hence why they're all on the poster. They're considered like all I feel like main characters. So I do think we will dive into all the other characters. Like I really did like this um very emotional. I like started tearing up, but uh what was her name? Sakura. Sakura's story about how she's already put this like barrier up and even though she has this crush on Toto she just thinks that because she's not cute enough because she's not beautiful enough like she can't take that step forward towards Toto because she thinks that Toto wouldn't reciprocate the feelings back and it just it upsets me a lot that she's already put this like already like failure like a step of failure ahead of her thinking that she can't do anything about these feelings she has because she's already thinks I guess the stupid kind of people around her have said dumb shit like Beauty and the Beast and so that really hit her like 
self-confidence so, oh that that bore me to tears i was just like that was really shitty yes remy is really kawaii but like yeah when she was blushing and sakura i think has like you know her own charms about her like and she was super kawaii as well but it really does hurt how like self-confidence is actually not self-confidence but more so like people putting you down and attacking you to make your self-confidence like go lower and to see that represented through like sakura's character to think that she she couldn't take that step forward until like you know making something kind of happen with Toto or even just becoming friends or closer with Toto really yeah that broke my heart that was impactful but I, as I said I really like how the series doesn't make stupid drama out of it and the sense that like she was kind of angry at Remy not angry angry probably isn't the right word but she I guess she put her like self-confidence out onto Remy but I do like how quickly she was just like no but Remy is my beauty you know she is my beauty and she is one of my closest friends so I shouldn't take it out on her so she ran back and they made up pretty quickly I, I really like how the series does not drag out the drama like we're told it at the start of this episode as well with you know the whole other girl situation that said though so tell I do have to touch on that sweetie you are going to have to work on describing the situation it probably wasn't the best idea to go up to your sister who was hanging out a lot with Miramura and tell her that you know you saw a girl clinging onto his arm this morning without any other context like oh so tell I love you but yeah more, the morning wasn't probably the best way to go and I do love how nonchalant he was about it he was just like yeah what you play with joker you want this one's got gummy bears oh this other chick was clinging on to Miyamura it's just like yeah no yeah no but yeah on that note I can't wait to further explore you know Mira and Hori's relationship as they spend more time together to learn more about each other but I'm also curious to see the overall direction this anime will take considering the romance aspect of things you know they're already going out it's progressing quite quickly so I guess until next time make sure you guys stay awesome and I'll catch you guys then.